Welcome back to Good Day. If you've been dreaming of being a country music star, stay with us because we're going to tell you how it could all be possible. I'm with John Blake from Cumulus Radio this morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, the Country Showdown yep. is happening this month. You're still accepting applications right. for people to be part of this competition, but let's explain how it works. Okay. The Country Showdown is a national uh, competition, country competition that happens every year. This is the 32nd annual uh, competition that they do. Um, it happens out of Nashville. It started uh, 32 years ago, obviously. Um, it happens locally every single year, um, and then it uh, comes all together nationally in Nashville. So this is the local competition. This is the, the one of the last ones that's going to happen uh, nationally. Okay. So um, we're we're one of the last few that's going to be going on. So uh, we're going to have our first round on um, July the 17th at River Point Golf Club. You've got until July the 15th. We've moved the uh, the cutoff date for one more week because we had so many applicants that like the last week. Uh, uh, yesterday was supposed to be the cutoff, but we mm -hmm. had like six or seven come in the last day. Wow. So we decided to move it back one more week to give more people opportunities to sign Great. up for us. So if you want to sign up, uh, get over to the Nash FM studio at uh, 1104 West Broad Avenue right here in Albany and sign up. But uh, you can find more details too at NashFM1045.com. But um, Again, we're having it at uh, River Point Golf Club this year. And those were some pictures from last year that were flashing right there. I got to judge it. It was yeah. so much fun to actually go and hear these amazingly talented people. And the, the, the group who won last year, right. tell what happened to them. Yeah, the Ryan West Band won last year. They won here locally. And uh, what happens is if you win locally, you go on to the state, uh, the state final where you have a chance to compete for $1,000. And they, won on, they went on and, and won the state final this I year. I love it. So last year. So, uh, we came back, we did an interview with them, and uh, they actually almost missed the state final. They, oh uh, they got caught in traffic going to the state final. They actually <laughs> had to uh, get out of their car. They pulled over to the side of the road, got out of their car, and just ran across the field oh to my get goodness. to the actual state final. And uh, it's, not, uh, it's not easy running in cowboy boots. No. So they actually uh, had to run across the field, jump over a fence, and actually get to the state final. They got up uh, on the stage, did a uh, sound check, and then uh, actually went on and performed. So wow. uh, doing all that, pretty tough, and then actually going on and winning the competition at the state final. So uh, then Good they went them. on to regionals. Uh, didn't win there, but they got a lot of uh, state exposure, sure. got a lot of uh, 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 exposure on the, uh, the southeast. So uh, it's a great uh, competition to, uh, if you got the talent to, um, uh, to, uh, to, to win here locally, uh, certainly sign up and then go on and, uh, and uh, see if you got the talent to win state and then go on from there. Uh, the big prize, though, if you uh, if you go on and uh, win nationally, it's a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! So, uh, and then you know uh, you could go on and become the next big country superstar, which has happened with uh, Brad Paisley. That's how we get a start. Martina McBride, Jason wow. Aldean. So uh, you know if you've got the talent, it's a great way to expose yourself. Very.